Welcome back to the Wild Cherry Farm. Today I want to show you how to knit this easy baby hat using two straight needles. Hats are often knitted in the round, but I wanted to have a very simple pattern that beginners or kids can make. It's a quick project and you can either knit it in one solid color or make a stripy hat like this. If you want to follow along, you can find the pattern on my blog thewildcherryfarm.com. I will leave a link below the description. So for this project you will need worsted weight yarn in one or more colors and in the UK and Ireland it's called Aran weight. I'm using 100% merino wool because it's soft and snuggly. A pair of 5mm straight knitting needles, that's US size 8. A tapestry needle for sewing the seams and of course your scissors for trimming any loose ends. You will also need a measuring tape to check your progress as you go. Let's start by casting on 56 stitches. Make sure your cast on isn't too tight so the brim stays stretchy. Once you've cast on, we're going to work in 2x2 two two ribbing, which means you will knit 2 and then purl 2 across the row. Repeat this for about 3 to 4 cm or 1.5 inches to create a nice stretchy brim for the hat. In my case, I knitted 6 rows of ribbing. Now your brim should look something like this. It's stretchy and neat and we're ready to move on to the body of the hat. The rest of the hat is knitted in stockinet stitch, which means you knit one row and then you purl one row. If you use two or more colors, you can switch to a second color now. Depending on how thick you want your stripes to be, you can knit four or six rows in one color and then switch again. Keep knitting until your piece measures about 12.5 cm or 5 inches from the cast on edge. Now that the body of the hat is finished, we'll start shaping the crown. This just means we'll decrease the number of stitches to create around the top of the hat. Here's how you do it. Knit 6 stitches, then knit 2 together. Repeat this across the row. On the next row, purl again. Keep following this pattern, decreasing the number of stitches between each decrease as we go. Knit 5, then knit 2 together, and then purl. Knit 4, then knit 2 together, and then purl again, and so on. Don't worry, I'll list all the steps in the pattern on my blog, so you can follow along at your own pace. Once you get down to the last few stitches, you will thread your yarn through the remaining stitches with your tapestry needle and pull it tight to close the top. that we've shaped the crown, it's time to seam the hat. We'll be using a mattress stitch to sew the sides together. If you used more than one color, you want to make sure your stripes line up as neatly as possible. So take your time with this step. Once you've sewn the seam, weave in any loose ends and voila, you're done. the finished hats. 
stripey one, a solid color one, and another stripey one with three colors. This one has always four rows of one color and then four rows of the next color. And this one has six rows each. So I hope you give it a, a go and let me know how it goes and if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.